Welcome to YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Man. In this lecture, we discuss solving a system of linear equation using the method that is Gauss elimination method. Yes. Okay. And so first we discuss the Gauss elimination method and in, in next video we will solve some examples related to the Gauss elimination method and and then we write a MATLAB code for the uh, Gauss elimination method. Yes, and uh, we will also discuss the Gauss elimination method with pivoting. And uh, again, then we write a MATLAB code for the Gauss elimination with pivoting. So, uh, in this lecture, uh, we discuss uh, the first point of learning objective is uh, the Gauss elimination method. Okay. So, uh, gas elimination method. What is gas elimination method? And uh, the gas elimination method is a procedure for solving a system of uh, linear equations. And uh, uh, yes, we use this method to solve the system of uh, linear equation. Okay. So, in this procedure, a system of equations that is given in general form is manipulated uh, to be in upper triangular form yes i will show you what is the upper triangular form and then uh, which is uh, then solved by the back substitution okay so we will discuss in the back substitution and the upper triangular form uh, later uh, okay so first for example for four equations with the four unknowns the general form is given by this one we have four equations equation one equation two equation three and equation four these are the general form of uh, four equations and we can also write in these equations uh, in matrix form that is ax is equal to b okay so this is the matrix form for four general equations with four unknowns okay these are the unknowns okay so next uh, uh, these are the uh, system of equations a uh, system of linear equations we can see in the uh, power of x is uh, one in all equations so these are the uh, linear equations okay uh, the first equation of uh, and this system is the pivot equation and uh, in matrix form the first row of the matrix is the pivot row okay and the first element of uh, the matrix is the pivot element that is a11 and when uh, in uh, next we will see uh, the this one will be a pivot equation when we uh, uh, do all these uh, zeros and this will be the a pivot element and a next will be this a pivot equation and a, and this will be the pivot element and next this one okay so i will discuss this one uh, in a uh, later so system of equations is manipulated uh, into an equivalent system yes okay and so we manipulate these system of equations into this form which is the the Gauss elimination method and similarly uh, the matrix form uh, matrix form of the equivalent system is uh, and this one and uh, this is the equivalent form of uh, this matrix uh, which is the uh, Gauss elimination method uh, we eliminate all these uh, elements of the matrix okay or uh, the system of equation here we can see that here and this in uh, in this equation okay a21 and x1 is 0 and similarly again here is 0 here is 0 okay here and this is uh, all these are 0 uh, this is the a uh, gas elimination method we eliminate all these elements that are uh, below the diagonal elements that are below the uh, here will be a44 this is there is a typing error okay 
so a four yes so this is the upper triangular matrix upper triangular form in which all the elements below the diagonal elements are zero okay uh, then uh, we will solve this by a backward substitution okay so now we discuss uh, uh, the uh, gas elimination procedure and uh, forward elimination method okay so uh, step one we have and uh, the first equation r rho is unchanged and the terms that include the variable x1 in all the other equations are rows are eliminated yes so we can see that except first equation or first row okay all the elements and that include a1 that include the x1 r r0 yeah so this is our uh, first step to solve the uh, system of uh, equations and in the next second step what we uh, we will do the equation r row first and second not change and the terms that include the variable x2 in the equation third and fourth are eliminated okay yes here we can see that uh, for in first equation and second equation and uh, these uh, will not change but in uh, third and fourth uh, we will eliminate and these terms that include x1 and uh, that includes x2 yes okay so we have we can see now and uh, the second step is to eliminate the x2 and here we have uh, done we have eliminated the x2 and uh, the terms that include the x2 and here we can see that uh, a 3a 32 and a 42 are eliminated okay so uh, in third step the equation are row first second and third not change and the terms that include the variable x3 in the fourth equation are and fourth row okay are eliminated yes now we eliminate this term and uh, this term okay okay so we can see that here uh, we have done we have eliminated the term here and here that is a four three so this is the upper triangular form okay so this is the upper triangular form yeah, this is the upper triangular matrix or the upper triangular form of the matrix so uh, and this is the gauze elimination method in in which we eliminate all those elements uh, all those elements which are below the uh, diagonal entries which are below the diagonal these are the diagonal elements and these are below the diagonal elements. we are we eliminate all these elements okay so this is the uh, uh, gauze elimination method uh, by forward uh, elimination and uh, the equivalent form in the equation in equation form we can also see that this is the uh, in equation form and next we uh, do back back substitution and we will find the values of all these unknowns okay so uh, here we can see and these are the equations uh, one two uh, three and four now we uh, and do back substitutions and uh, we will find the values of all unknowns x1 x2 x3 and x4 okay so first we uh, here we first we put uh, this one x4 is equal to b4 divided by a44 this is the backward substitution and uh, here we get the value of the unknown that is x4 and uh, next uh, we will uh, do like uh, same pro uh, uh, step uh, for equation 3 and we will get the value of x3 next same for x2 and similar for x1 okay so uh, we will get all the values of unknowns unknowns from uh, here by back substitution uh, next in uh, in the next lecture we will discuss uh, 
uh, example related to related to the gauze elimination method.